Laylatul Eid. Laylatul Eid. Okay. Two gifts before Ramadan, leaving. Uh, and uh, first, Laylat Al Qadr. And the second, Laylat Al Eid. The night of Al Eid and night of power or Al Qadr. So we have to uh, uh, pay attention more and uh, encourage ourselves to work and struggle with uh, uh, ibadah and with uh, worshiping Almighty Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Rabbuna Jalla wa Ala, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Inna anzalnahu fi laylatim mubaraka, inna kunna munzirin, fiha yufraq kullu amrin hakim." أَمْرًا مِنْ عِنْدِنَا إِنَّا كُنَّا مُرْسِلِينَ رَحْمَةً مِنْ رَبِّكْ إِنَّهُ هُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ This is chapter Al-Dukhan. Indeed, we sent it down during a blessed night. A blessed night. So from the beginning, we understand this night is different, is unique, is exceptional night. Exceptional, exceptional night. Blessed night. We uh, were to warn mankind. On that night, it made distinct every precise matter, every matter proceeding from us. Because at that night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, why it's called Laylatul uh, Qadr? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala estimates and send. Uh, the Aqdar, uh, what's happening in the world, in the universe, what's happening in unseen world and in seen world, in our life, in our world and other worlds. We, we live in, in this uh, globe. Uh, some of what we around us, we know about it. Yani the earth and the stars around us. So, but there is unseen world and different many worlds like Alam al Arsh, the world of Al Arsh, Alam uh, al Jinn, the world of Jinn, uh, Alam al Jannah, the world of Jannah, Alam al Nar, the world of fire. There's these worlds around us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala manage them and give the decisions concerning everything in that uh, world. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about this night send it for the more blessing for believer, more blessing for Muslims, more blessing for this nation. But why? Before going, let's go to uh, another verses in the Quran, confirm the meaning and that uh, uh, spirituality beyond that night. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, in the Quran, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr. Wa ma adraka ma laylatul qadr. Laylatul qadr khayyum min alf shahr. Tanazzalu al malaikatu wa ruhu fiha bi idhn rabbihim min kulli kulli hiya hatta matula al fajr. Indeed, we send the Quran down during the night of decree. So the first reason for being Ramadan, Ramadan, because Allah received, uh, Allah sent, Allah sent Quran in that month. And it specifically come at Laylatul Qadr, this night, this night. And we mentioned that before in Khutbatul Jum'ah, uh, we understand and study that the Quran took like uh, 23 years. Revelation is not one night, one month. No, it is 23 years. Uh, 13 years in Mecca and 10 years in Medina. So how that, the answer is very simple and easy that Allah started revelation for the Quran of the, on the heart of Prophet Muhammad in that night. This is the first uh, revelation. The first revelation, beginning of the revelation at Laylatul Qadri in Ramadan. Or another uh, opinion saying, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send Quran, hold the Quran from Bayt al Izza. This is a special place in the highest uh, position in heavens uh, that's close to Jannah. And hold the Quran revealed from that place to 
the, this is sky or this heaven of dunya of this uh, our life and then from that place come 23 years to the heart of prophet muhammad alayhi salatu wassalam but anyway that night as we mentioned and that month allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed it by revelation of the quran that's why allah selected to be uh, the fasting month uh, for muslims and this night allah blessed it for whoever stand for prayer and supplication and uh, 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 be close to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by ibadah, Allah blessed that big uh, amount of years. We're going to see that inshallah. Uh, so indeed we send the Quran down during the night of decree. And what can make you know what is the night of decree? The night of decree is better than a thousand months. A thousand months. Subhanallah. A southern month, that's almost 83 years. Imagine that, yani, when the person stands for prayer a few hours, like nine hours, just like now, our nine hours, stand in prayer, in ibadah, in sujood, in tilawa, reciting of the Quran, uh, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, supplication Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and uh, that, subhanallah, few hours, we earn the barakah as if we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 83 years almost 83 years pure of ibadah because our our day is not pure for ibadah we if we collect the the this minutes of, of ibadah of prayer of dhikr it's like two if the person do so much uh, like two hours from 24 hours but, but this 83 years pure of ibadah it's very very uh, important night we have to uh, yani prepare and be ready for that the angels the angels al-malaika the angels and the spirit the head of angels jibril alayhi salam gabriel descend the rain by permission of their lord for every matter allah sent them for the mercy of on earth allah sent them for forgiveness allah sent them for more blessing because one of the jobs of angels that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appointed them to make dua for believers, for Muslims, for people of earth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that in Surah Ghafir, saying subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, that among the jobs, they uh, make glorification to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they... Uh, pray to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they ask Allah forgiveness for the people on earth, for believers on earth. So these angels, special angels, Allah sent them on that uh, night with peace and mercy and rahmah and maghfirah and dua for believers. So we stand in, in prayers, in ibadah, in a, a, a supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah also send angels, subhanAllah, to support us in that night. So it is it is amazing night. It's amazing, Allah. It's amazing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, while we stand for prayer, Allah sent angels all to support us in ibadah, subhanAllah. Al-Hadith al-Nabawi, al-Rasul alayhi salatu wa salam mentioned that. Man sama Ramadan. إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه ومن قام ليلة القدر إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه الله amazing words beautiful أبو هريرة رضي الله عنه the companions the great companions of the Lord the most hafiz of حديث النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام said الرسول عليه الصلاة والسلام said Whoever fasted the month of Ramadan, whoever fast month of Ramadan, out of sincere faith, strong faith and sincere to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and hoping for a reward from Allah. We struggle, fasting, pray, stand, less hours for sleeping, uh, work more with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and, and, and many activities, we hope in Jannah. We hope the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
We have forgiveness. We hope to be close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Jannat Adn, in Firdaus al-Ahla. So whoever had this niyyah in his heart or her heart, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most generous and the most merciful, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then all his past sins, zunub, ma'asi, will be forgiven. Allah. These points very important, brothers and sisters. Allah forgive. Allah forgive in different positions. Give us many positions and many times and many seasons to seek forgiveness and gift forgiveness. You see, among these month of Ramadan, when we fast for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, out of sincere faith, this, the zunub, the ma'asi, the uh, sins, we commit for previous year, past year, last year, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive it. But what kind of zunub? All the noobs? The ulama has tafsil, has details in that, explanation for that. A zunub, these bad deeds, different types. Number one, ذنب يتعلق بالله سبحانه وتعالى sin relate to Allah سبحانه وتعالى like somebody uh, lazy in prayer the prayer is the right of Allah سبحانه وتعالى somebody make problems in fasting fasting the right of Allah سبحانه وتعالى uh, somebody you know shortcoming in صدقة in in uh, زكاة in rights of Allah سبحانه وتعالى and there are many rights concerning human, children, husband, wife, spouses, parents, neighbor, friends, uh, the animals. Hey, yes, the animals has rights over us. The plants, the environment, everything around us has rights over us. So these rights, Relate to creatures, man, mankind, and any anything else from creatures. And right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah forgive it. Rights of people around us, first, we should seek forgiveness and apologize to people. And receive forgiveness from people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then forgive. So return back with the right to people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive. So here we have to understand, this dhunub, this bad deeds that Allah removed from our records concerning, first, as the minor, minor sins, and rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rights of mankind also will be forgiven, but, Start with people. Ask father, mother. Ask brother and sisters. Ask whoever we make mistake with him or her forgiveness. And apologize for him or her. Allah accept. And Allah support. And Allah forgive after the forgiveness. Allahu Akbar. So here, whoever stand for uh, whoever fasted the month of Ramadan out of sincere faith and hoping for a reward from Allah, then all his past sins will be forgiven. And whoever stood for prayers in the night of Qadr, night of Qadr, the, the night of power, Layla to Qadri, out of sincere faith, sincere faith, not for showing off, not for seeking any matter concerning dunya, concerning, you know, uh, this life. No, just I'm, I'm a struggle. I'm a struggle for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So whoever do that, what happened? You see, and hoping for a reward from Allah, then all his previous sins will be forgiven. Also the same. Here Ramadan in general and Laylatul Qadr specifically specifically so forgiveness peaceful merciful 
and reward equals 1,000 month and more. Allah, it deserve. It deserve, wallah, it deserve, it deserve to struggle and schedule yourself and stay with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, to be alone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in recitation of the Quran, in ibadah, in dua, in salah, prayers, listen to literatures, listen to maw'idha, and, and so on. طيب. Let's go to more details about Laylat Al-Qadr. Uh, where is or when this night? When? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it or hide this night for our benefit. If we know specifically Laylat Al-Qadr, it is on specific night or specific day, that means we focus more in that day and be you know careless about other day. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanna baraka, wanna help us, wanna support us, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you wanna want us to struggle and work hard in ibadah and hold them on 30 uh, days. That's why I have my own you know uh, uh, vision about Laylatul Qadr. Consider myself personally, I consider hold the month. All the month is Laylat al-Qadr. Is Laylat al Hold the month. Work from the beginning to the end a specific program. A specific program. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, blessed us by this month. Why we focus more in that night and leave others? No, we have, you know, focus on all and consider all the month Laylat al-Qadr. But anyway, let's go with, you know, these uh, details and see when uh, Laylat al-Qadr uh, appear or happen. The uh, ulama mentioned that Laylat al-Qadr is not uh, in a specific night. It could be uh, this year in 20, for example, 21st. Uh, previous year, last year, it was in 23rd. Coming year, 27. So it is movable night, it's not in a specific night. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it here and there to encourage people to work. Don't be lazy. Don't be, don't be lazy. Work with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this opinion, another opinion say, no, it is it is in a specific night, which Laylat is 27, 27. Some mention, some Sahaba say 29. Some mentioned 23, 21st. So we have different opinion. That's why it is important to focus on all the old nights. The Sunnah Nabawi. Il Tamisuha il Witri min al Ashri al Awakhir. Yani in old nights. Old nights means 21st and the last and last 10 nights. 21st, 23, 25th, 27th, and 29th. Five nights, focus on them, you earn Laylat al Qadr. But uh, I encourage you to do that, no problem. If you have uh, time, focus and hold the month. This is my uh, opinion. So, looking for it without assuring which one is it. So, the believers focus on old nights to get it, to get that. So if I have some signs, oh, this night is Laylat al-Qadr, because we have in tradition uh, some uh, speech mentioned that there are nine, uh, signs for that night. Uh, some feeling in the heart, in your spirit, you feel the angels, because a lot of angels descend down on earth. So make change these angels with uh, Jibreel alayhi salam, make change in the environment, change in, 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 the, in everything around us. But not everybody feel that. Not everybody feel that. Believers and believers with high spirituality, they feel that. And sometimes people see a dream, a dream as a sign that uh, some indications, some signs say this is a different night. So regardless about these this, uh, signs, uh, 
ومنى عائشة رضي الله عنها أسكد الرسول عليه الصلاة والسلام يا رسول الله عليه الصلاة والسلام uh, What should I supplicate in it in this night if I realized uh, no this night is Laylat Al-Qadr He replied عليه الصلاة والسلام You should supplicate اللهم إنك عفون تحب العفو فاعف عني O oh Allah you are most forgiving and you love forgiveness so forgive me Allah amazing dua very short statement uh, but carry, carry many meanings and strong and spiritual meaning O oh Allah you can say in Arabic the original text of the dua or you can say in English no problem But in Salah, must be in Arabic. Out of Salah, you can say in Arabic and English, no problem. Oh Allah, you are most forgiving. You are most forgiving. We ask forgiveness only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No mediate between us and Allah. Just stand, raise your hand, and ask Allah forgiveness. Ask Allah merciful. Ask Allah whatever you want to ask. No uh, mediate between uh, Muslim, believer, and their Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are most forgiveness, forgiving. You are most forgiving. And you love forgiveness. So forgive me. Forgive me. So when Allah forgive, what we need after that? That mean Allah cover all our sins. That mean Allah open the gate of Rayyan, uh, Yawm Al-Qiyamah, the gate for Jannah, for believers. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Uh, help us to pass this is struggle time and hard time when uh, spirit come out of our body the minute of death it's very hard very hard very difficult that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for believers and angels came لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون no sorrow no sadness don't worry this time is your time and this life it will not this bishara good news, good tidings, come to the minutes of death for believers to uh, give them these, you know, hopes and this bishara about their future with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, Laylatul Qadri, uh, it is a, a special gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for believers. We should struggle. Coming night, Uh, night of 27, inshallah, coming night. Today we are fasting, uh, 26. So night of 20, coming night, 27. This one of the old nights and the ulama and some sahaba focus on that night as a laylat. That's why we يعني, uh, celebrate more and uh, focus and care more about this and this night. So uh, work hard, make program for yourself, your family, especially these days. You know, pandemic of coronavirus was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove that by the barakah of Laylat al-Qadr, ameen, ya rabbal alameen. Uh, no i'tikaf in the masjid as usual. We used to come to the masjid and stay all the night in the masjid. We have classes, we have competition for the children, youth, and recite Quran and dua and tahajjud. Many, many activities we do on that night. But unfortunately, this year will be different. So we're going to stay at home. And make i'tikaf at home. Take a corner in your home. Close the room on yourself. And open the mushaf to recite. To ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to pray. And to cry. To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Try. Try to weep to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And try to show your humbleness. Try to show your need to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the weakness of us uh, before Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is very important because this is a, this is a basic a meaning of ibadah. Ibadah to show humbleness, to show your need, to show your poverty to Almighty, to show your uh, weakness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When the person show that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive and have mercy on him. There is another uh, point concerning that night and then go to Laylatul Eid in, in minutes, inshallah. 
the Prophet ﷺ had been in i'tikaf, seclusion, in the middle of Ramadan. So at the 29th, the night of 20, he delivered a speech, say, I saw Laylatul Qadr. Allah show him Laylatul Qadr. Okay? But I have been forgotten or forgot it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove it from his mind. So here we get to talk to people. He forget which night is. And this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanna uh, people and believers to uh, focus on whole the month or especially in that uh, last 10 nights. But if he has a salam announced and declare uh, this night is a night, Laylatul Qadr. Oh, all the Ummah, all the nation, Muslim, even <laughs> maybe non Muslim, come to this night and focus more on that night and ignore other months, other nights of the month. But uh, so look for it at the last 10 nights. Look for that night at the last 10 nights or at the old nights, Luitr, old nights. As we mentioned, 21st, 23rd, 25th, 7th, and 29th. I saw what I'm prostrated in a water. He's in his dream. He, he saw in the dream what he saw. I saw that I am prostrated in a water. Water means raining calm on earth and in prostration. Uh, he prostrated on the uh, land. Uh, 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 wet, wet land by the raining of the uh, uh, water or come from raining and mud, water and mud. And then in, that's in his dream, alayhi salatu wasalam. And the Fajr prayer, a cloud came and rained. He's a Sahabi mentioned that. Yani yeah, when, salam, so in his dream and explained to them. And in this uh, night, in the morning, what happened? True. Uh, raining come and come on the masjid and the land of the masjid get wet and mud because you, you don't have this, what we have now from carpet and, you know, no, they have uh, just, you know, sand and dust. So when the raining come, change the nature of the land of the masjid to be wet and mud. And that night, Salam, Salat al Fajr, he makes sujood on the wet and the mud of uh, in the masjid. So uh, then in a fa the Fajr prayer, a cloud came and rained. So I saw Rasul alayhi salat was salam prostrated in water and mud. What he saw in his dream, Allah. Uh, make it reality in his life, and the Sahaba watched what he mentioned about the dream. But he didn't mention a specific night. He mentioned that at the last 10 nights of Ramadan, and especially in the old nights, old nights. That's why we shouldn't lose this night. Schedule yourself, program yourself, your family, your children, and stand in prayer and supplication. Uh, make program different types of ibadat till you cover all the nights from Maghrib till uh, Al Fajr, inshallah. Another night, Laylatul Eid. Laylatul Eid is equal in uh, blessing and uh, in, in, uh, in reward, Laylatul Qadr. Why? Some narrations mention that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala free, free. From hellfire, every night, a specific amount of people from hellfire. Mm. And come at that night, Laylatul Eid, the night of Al Eid, last night after Ramadan, gun and next light, next uh, day will be Al Eid. In this night, Allah free amount equal what He free all the month. Look at the barakah of that. So that's why we should care about this night. People busy with preparation for Eid, uh, that's okay, no problem, but don't forget that you have special also, special night, Laylatul Eid. It's a great night. We have to care about later. How can? Well, Ibad also. 
صلاة ذكر قرآن recitation تسبيح دعاء and so on is not يعني something different but like like usual so keep in your program of Ramadan and program of Laylat al-Qadr in this night Laylat al-Eid inshallah we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to uh, gift us this night, Laylat al-Qadr, and accept it from us, Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And we ask Him subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove this pandemic from the world and give uh, heal and give shifa for every person sick, Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Mm. We meet us again in the masjid as used to be, inshallah. And we ask Him subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our fasting, our prayers, our standing in ibadah, in, in, and accept our dua, and accept uh, our charity, our zakah, and uh, make us among the uh, righteous uh, people in al firdaus al-a'la. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbi ajma'ina wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. If you have question, we can uh, take like uh, five Minutes. If you don't have question, we can uh, leave now. Inshallah. Do you have any question? Uh, no questions. Thank you. No question. Alhamdulillah. So we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for your barakah, Inshallah, in your time, in your age, in your umr. Amin. Ya Rabbil Alamin. Jazakum Allah khaira. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi taala wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum.